Hi, this is Chips from Single Track Magazine, and I'm here with the brand new Specialized Epic Pro. It's it's the brand new 2021 model. Uh, obviously, it's 2020 still, but we're in the future already. And this is Specialized's no nonsense, no mercy, full on cross country race bike. And there's lots of specialist bits and pieces here that are intended for going flat out against, uh, against the clock, between the tapes, crushing your opponents, that kind of stuff. Uh, there is a slightly less aggressive version, which we'll get onto in a sec, uh, but this is the Epic, which is a full-on race machine. Specialized did a lot of work two, three years ago and, and redesigned the, uh, the Epic. They changed the brain, which has always been a part of the Epic FSR. They did away with the horse link, and we'll cover that in a, in a video that we did a couple of years ago. This has taken all of those improvements and moved on a little bit more and to further kind of specialize this as a full-on race machine. So it's still, it's 100 mil travel front and rear, and it has a brain fork. It's got the RockShox SID SL with the brain in it, and it has a brain at the back. Now, if you don't know about that, the, the brain is, is specialized sort of analog way of automatically locking the fork out, and the shock out when you're not using it. When it's not seeing bumps, it's basically a rigid hardtail. As soon as it sees a bump, it opens the shocks and you've got full suspension performance. You can adjust it but you can't do away with it. So it's, a, uh, it's always there, and it, it means that you can be racing, you can go flat out on the tarmac and you're on a hardtail, you can drop into the single track and you're on a suspension bike. And while you can kind of feel when, when that transition happens, it's something that is well worth just learning to live with or, or getting used to. And it's, it's pretty easy to get used to. In terms of bringing it up to date, Specialized has, they'd already moved the brain to just behind the rear axle, so it sees bumps as soon as it, it can, uh, as soon as it can. It's been made sleeker, a bit less clunky than the previous version. And if you don't notice this little pipe here, and what's really a, a small little add-on by the, by the dropper, you wouldn't really know that, that it was a brain-equipped bike. And this, locks the bike out uh, for its 100 mil travel. To bring it up to date, Specialized had slackened the head tube off a bit last time, and it's got 67.5 degree head angle, which is two degrees slacker than the previous version. And it has a 75.5 degree seat angle, effective seat angle. So it's designed for shorter stems, not kind of the 35 mil kind of tiny enduro stems, but, but a that maybe a 60 mil stem and brings your weight forward still on the bars you can uh, you can really feel that the the bike is uh, is meant for just going flat out fast reach is still reasonably conservative it's 440 I think 445 on a medium 470 on a large but combined with a slightly longer stem than you'd see on an enduro bike uh, the fits really good this is a medium I'm five foot nine and this fits me perfectly. You will see there's no dropper post and that's something that Specialized decided that uh, wasn't what you needed for racing. You can fit a dropper post, there is routing for it, uh, but stock, it comes with a rigid seat post. Now talking about the spec on this, the pro level bike, this is the second from top. So the bikes start at 3999, 4,000 pounds, and they go up to 10,500 for the S-Works. This is the second from top model, so it's it's got nearly all the fancy bits. It has SRAM's latest Axis Eagle 10 to 50 group set, uh, and it's wireless. So the front of this bike, super neat, it just has brake cables, that's it. There's no dropper post, there's no uh, gear cables, there's no shock lockout, it's just got brakes 
and it's got one shifter. That's it. It has the Roval uh, carbon wheels. We recently uh, reviewed the Roval Control SL wheels, which are the brand new ones. Uh, you don't get those on this model. You only get them on the S-Works, the top of the range one. This has the, the current Roval Control uh, wheels, which are still wide, carbon, super light, and with a very um, optimistic tread, which to be honest, I've been running for the last couple of weeks and it's been absolutely fine. You just have to learn to ride and trust the tires. This whole bike weighs just a hair over 23 pounds or 10 kilos, uh, which is astonishing, to be honest, given that it's got 100 mm of travel and it has tires with knobs and it's got suspension with control and everything. It's not really much else to it, really. It's got the, um, it's got, um, sorry, level brakes. It has rock shocks, front and rear, and it's got some wheels. What more do you want? Now, I mentioned that there's a slightly less aggressive version of this. There is a specialized Epic Evo, which is for that sort of fast trail riding that a lot of people do. Uh, maybe you're not a racer all the time, and it has a 120 fork and the rear suspension has been increased 110 mil. So it's a slightly more um, trail friendly bike. It doesn't have the brain. Specialized reckon that the brain is just for racing. Uh, if you're after a fast trail bike, then you don't want a locked out bike. You just want suspension. So it has a 120, 110 uh, suspension system and it has a dropper post. So if you're if this appeals, and it really is quite a fantastic bike, but you don't fancy that hard day in the office feel of, of a bike that's locked out most of the time, then have a look at the Evo. Those will start from about 4,000 pounds and go up to 7,000 uh, pounds. So that's, that's gonna be a more trail friendly, fast trail friendly bike. But this today is the new Epic and it's, specialized no compromise race bike so it's out now so there you go feast your eyes and uh get out and uh, shred some uh, race tracks this has been chips from single track magazine with the new specialized epic pro thank you for joining me